guys, it's Ashley. So I'm back with part two, and this should be the last part unless you guys specifically want to see something. This is my other shelving unit here. I got these from Target when they were on sale. This top two shelves has my Hello Kitty stuff. Um, and trust me, I have way more than this. I got boxes out in the garage that have Hello Kitty stuff. So it's my little stick pin holder that um, Christina made me, and there's little plushies from the majority of them are from Jen but I have one I have some from Carla and um so there's quite a bit of Hello Kitty stuff there some bags in the back then on this shelf here I have the, these little pink containers which I got from the Dollar Tree the bottom one has glue sticks the middle one has my labeler and my heat tool and then the top one has my three glue guns um, this here is just a container that has large paints in it, and so those are just in there, and then a huge bottle of black acrylic paint. When Carla went to, um, Japan, she had to get rid of all her paints and stuff, so she gave me a ton of, a whole box of paint and everything. These containers here just have cards, like card bases and decorative cards and stuff that I got on clearance at Joann's. Here in this container... Is where I have my laces and stuff that are long enough to go on these spoolies. This has um, pop dots and everything. I just pull this onto my desk when I want to work. This Hello Kitty container has gloves. So when I'm using my alcohol inks, when I use my gloves, <laughs> um, and they're there. This has flowers in it. This has more cards and stuff. And this has... Um, big huge flowers because I made all my bouquets for my wedding and all my centerpieces and everything so I had flowers left. This is one of those mail sorters and it just has all of my um, embossing folders in it and then this basket has all of my fabric to make flowers and then there's just like random Ziploc baggies and stuff and some extra bubble wrap and stuff. Then here under my desk this drawer has just got like random just my notebooks and stuff for swaps and all that stuff in there this is all of my beads and stick pin making items this is a bag of jewelry to break down broken jewelry and stuff like that then down here there's more beads more stick pin items bead caps all of that are in those containers this here, I love this thing, I got from like Ross, and this has all my Tim Holtz, well, the majority of my Tim Holtz embellishments in here, so I love this thing so much. I got it for like $10 or $6, I think, and then that container down there, I have all of my, like the little recollections adhesive items, and I had way more storage than this, guys. It goes on the walls and stuff, but we weren't allowed to mount anything in our new um, place. But this has all of my charms. It's one of those magnetic boards. I have, like, three more of these, but these are just uh, containers that are full right now. But they have charms, and you just pop it off. It's got little charms and stuff in there. So I just keep that one there in case I want to pull something off when I'm crafting and then this little container I got at Goodwill for like $3.99 I like it because it has wheels I've got my um, gorgeous scoreboard that Jen got me my um, trimmers and that's a little tool that goes with the scoreboard and my um, crocodile whatever you want to call it and then these are more of those pink containers down there in the bottom I have my baby wipes these are all notebooks Hello Kitty notebooks and notepads and stuff that's bling and then mesh bling here on the top so I can get it. This is like the best idea ever. I mean, I've seen it. Other people do it too, but um, I ended up Velcroing this onto the side of my desk so that I don't have to worry like trying to pull the cord around and all that other stuff. I just Velcroed it there. I can plug in all my tools I need to and so it's super awesome. I'm so happy that I did that because... It works out so good. Um, over here, <coughs> these are Recollections cubes, and they just have the countertops on there. Um, that pink box has, those are all projects I've completed I need to mail out. I got my radio with my iPod, a little Hello Kitty clock, 
my little um, scented oil warmer thing. That shelf I got from Goodwill, the brown one, that's got all of my flowers on it. Um, these containers here I got from Walmart. They're actually like from the hardware section. But what I did is I put these, somebody gave me these stickers in a rack or whatever, but they're like dimensional and I just put them on here. And all my chipboard letters are in there sorted by letter. Those are just small little Hello Kitty things that I had that wouldn't sit on the shelf without falling. So they're all up there. And then this all has embellies. These are like bingo tabs. These are my Studio Calico with veneers, ribbon buckles, paper clips, metal embellishments. Like those are all in here. This is just got pins in it. This is all random embellishments I've been sent in racks and swaps. So if I want to pull something out, I just go through that. This is my little tool caddy. It has all of my um, major tools in here. And then these are two signs that I got from my challenge. And let's see. This here is, um, this actually came from Michael's too. I just painted it. I was going to decorate it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Just has my blending solution, glitter pens, um, beads in a bottle. This is my embellish center up top. Just has some like large embellishments. Flocking, um, binder clips and sequins. These are all glitter tubes. These are Studio G. Um, shaped glitter. Embossing powder. Loose glitter. My clear blings. And then all of these are sort of by color. So there's pearls, um, flat back pearls, rhinestones are all sort of by color so I like the way that is I'm very visual I like to see it so these are all flares and sort of like um, cabochons these are all buttons sort of by color rubber bands and then some metal clip thing which I don't even have the tool to use um, that is baby wash I bought because I had seen a thing about making your own stamp cleaner and I haven't even done it this is my um, carousel y'all have seen. It's got like all my scribbles, alcohol inks, distress stains, foam paints. This is all liquid pearls, distress paint. This is all stickles sorted by color. So that's that. I am so sorry it's blurry, but um, here, this these are all collections. So like, if I really love a stack, a paper stack, I may get the collection. So, all the stickers and everything that go with it. So, like, this is all Safari, DCWV Safari. And so, all the papers are there. All the stickers are there. These are all, like, borders and everything. So, those are all collections. This container I got from Michaels that just has my bind it all in there. And then this... Oh, this is all of my thickers, and they're all sorted by brand and type, so that's that. And this container has all my Hello Kitty stuff, so stickers, chipboard, papers. This is just Hello Kitty items here for scrapbooking, so this here has, these are all of my, what do you call them, Brad's. And these are like my loose flowers from Michaels that I bought. And then these are more brads that I have here. I have them stored in those little containers by color. And then in here, I just have like extra adhesives and stuff. Xyron Zy refills and tape and all that stuff. This just has my little Xyron machine and my tape dispenser. This is all my paints, and they're flipped upside down so I can see the colors easily. This has extra baby wipes because I go through a lot when I'm stamping. And then these are just small acrylic paints that Carla gave me. Then here, this is how I store my scraps by color. So there's like silver, gray, gold, blue, and green. Pink and red, um, purple, you know, black and white, whatever. They're all sorted by color. And then these are just some shipping boxes that I keep on hand. These are just picture containers that I have all of my items sorted. 
those are diapers, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but I make diaper cakes, you guys. Um, I've made a ton of them, so I keep diapers in there extra, and then that's a box of, like, projects that I'm working on for other people. And then this is my 12 by 12 paper storage, and how I store my paper is I write on the binding, um, the paper line, and the name of the paper stack, and they're all sorted by brand. So, that is that, and then my last wall over here... This is like a shoe rack, which I made into my own clip it up, and it was a genius idea, I thought, at first, but it's really a pain in the ass. Um, I was actually using it for stickers originally, and it didn't, no, yeah, it wasn't cutting it. So, I just have this here for now, but these are like extra stamps that I haven't put away yet, like in CD cases or anything. And this tower here, I don't really open that much, it's just got like, um manuals and extra containers some fibers and stuff and then like there's um chipboard shapes and stuff in here which i don't use much and then um extra metal containers for those charms those are large like the large tim holtz alphas um extra little wooden spools. Those are two little um, minis that I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And